Intel on the daily chart. We got a series of lower highs and lower lows currently trading below that 200 moving average on the daily chart. On the hourly chart, we are getting up above the 200 moving average on the hourly. What I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the history of this chart, looking for other pullbacks similar in dollar amount, clicking from that pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. That'd be my first price relationship. Over here, this pullback, also very similar in dollar amount, clicking from that pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. Zoom a little bit more, I'm going to use my fib retracements next. Clicking from this pivot low to pivot high, also provides a 50% retracement. There may be a pocket of support right here, right around 38, 58 and some change. Jumping down on the 15 minute time frame. We are bouncing off that support area for now, but we got to look for a trigger to go long. Where that 8 moving average, cross it against that 34, back to the upside. When that happens, not financial advice, position size correctly with Intel, but you got to set your stop below this pivot low. In addition, I just want to share that Costco trade we talked about just a couple days ago. What was interesting about this chart was that it also got up above the 200 moving average on the hourly chart. If you jump on my YouTube channel, we went over this chart back on the 13th. Have you subscribed to my Fibonacci Zone newsletter? What you will get, you will get a free mini course with instructional videos on Fibonacci trading, access to high probability setups that I'm buying and selling and why, and also lessons from my life, victories and defeats to help you grow. I'll leave the link below in the descriptions. Look forward to connecting with you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.